Hey guys, what's up? How's summer treating you? Well, mine is going pretty good. It's way better than July, I can tell you that. So I'm really loving my August summer and I can't wait for the fall. So today I'm going to quickly show you guys some of the stuff that I got recently. So half of them are from like Korean beauty brands and half are from like international brands. Also, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you want to see more hauls and more videos from me. First, I got really interesting and fun lip colors from Tony Molly, and they're called Multi Color Pencil. And this one is number two, and this one is number four. I was very impressed with the color payoff and just the color itself because this one in number two is like a full on lavender color, and then this one in number four is like a really beautiful, like, um, cherish kind of reddish color like these two are the kind of colors that you don't get to see much from Korean beauty brands because a lot of times Korean brands have like in terms of lip colors it's all like either red or kind of like orangish coralish kind of red uh, it's very you know rare to see colors like nudes and purples and like you know dark um, like vampy purplish kind of colors. Uh, they're all like um, kind of like, you know, um, easy, just kind of red and coral and all that. And I was, I'm kind of a girl who loves crazy colors. So these were like, oh my gosh, I need this. So the packaging wise, these look like a legit Sharpie. So it's kind of like childish looking, but I really don't care because the color payoff is freaking amazing. So this one is number two and it's so pretty guys. Do you see that? The the lavender, like the purple lavender color, it's like, it's not sheer, it's just, you know, full on, bam, lavender color. I love this. So, this is number two, and then uh, this is number four, and this is not a usual everyday color either. It's like, it's so unique. It's like a hot pinkish, kind of cherish color it's so adorable it's so beautiful oh my gosh i love that they're not sheer they're so pigmented they're so intense loving it so much and it kind of smells good too and then um it has that tinglish sensation so if you don't like that then don't buy it but uh if you're someone like me if you love like crazy like flamboyant kind of like fun colors then oh my gosh i highly highly recommend these so these are from tony molly um and then misha was having their uh monthly sale and since i have so many things from misha i really didn't um want to spend any more money and also at the store i didn't find anything that interesting so i only picked two things so uh, this one is called moisture coating tint so it's a lip tint which looks like this and this one is in number what number is this it's um it's called antique rose very very hydrating well the color itself is kind of like can you see this one right here yeah this one so it's super hydrating. I can already feel on the back of my hand that it's super, super hydrating. And the pigmentation isn't bad at all. So um, I don't know. I kind of like the color, but it's not like one of those like statement colors. It's like a uh, pretty easy, normal color that you can wear every single day. Or maybe not. So <laughs> that was um, the lipstick from Misha. And then I got a um, uh, lip exfoliator which is called smoothing care lip scrub um so it's made of like a bunch of honey i don't know it smells pretty yeah honey it smells definitely like honey so haven't used it so i can't say anything about it but that was the lip scrub and then uh over at Innis free because i can never have too many Innis free um i got if you're following me on my instagram you guys may have seen a lot of these already so uh this one is a gel liner from Innis free i normally don't spend money um on Innis free unless they're having their monthly sale but this time i was like i want to spend some money on Innis free it's not on sale but what the heck let's spend some money so um this one is 
in his free gel liner in number six. So um, it's like a summerish color. It's like um, dark blue eyeliner. A little shimmery, but not that shimmery. So I think I'm going to use it as a base for uh, blue eyeshadow. So I got that. And then I got a cleansing tissue on a whim. I didn't really think anything about it. And I was like, oh, that's something that I've never seen. So let's just get it. And then, oh my gosh, this is the bomb, guys. It's called Apple Juicy Cleansing Tissue. Uh, with apple juicy and green complex. I don't know. It's so good. It just removes everything It's it's like amazing amazing. So before this I Really loved uh, one of these like lip and eye makeup remover from the face shop I think it may be better than the one from the face shop. It's so awesome So this is from Inus for you guys if you are into cleansing tissue if you use the cleansing tissue on a day-to-day -day basis I highly highly suggest you go get it it's awesome so uh, those are from Inis Free and then um, actually yesterday I went to Aritam it's another Korean drugstore I don't think I've ever talked about it on my channel but it's uh, from like a more pacific company so it's called Aritam that's the name of the brand and I only got this uh, because I was kind of curious um, it's aloe no wash cleansing tissue so 90, 91% of this tissue is made of like aloe. Yeah, so this is uh, another cleansing tissue from Arito. And then I got a brow pencil from 3 Concept Eyes. I've heard so many good things about it. Everybody was saying like it's the perfect dupe for Anastasia Brow Wiz. And I was very, very tempted to try. So I finally did. It's actually called Slim Eyebrow Pencil. Mine is in chestnut brown. So, uh, well, it looks exactly like um, the Anastasia's Brow Wiz. It's really skinny and it's got dual ends. So... Um, one side you get a pencil and on the other side you get a spoolie brush to brush out your brow hair. So in terms of exterior, it's almost exactly like uh, Anastasia's brow is, but my problem with this pencil is uh, the pencil itself is kind of hard. So every time I use this uh, pencil, I find myself like tugging my skin a little bit. And I hate that because I just do not want to do anything to cause any wrinkles. Um, and like I have no hair from here down. So literally like the tail section, I have to draw it. Like there's nothing here, it's just all skin and I have to like draw it and like it makes it kind of hard to make like a smooth line because the pencil itself is kind of like hard, it's just hard. It's not as soft as um, Anastasia's brow is so um, I find myself like having to be more like really careful and like attentive when I'm using this pencil but I don't know like I, I definitely, I don't know, <laughs> I would not go back to this again just because, not because it's a bad product, but just because um, I just do not like uh, the formula and the hardness of this pencil. But other than that, it's it can be a good dupe, but I don't think it's a perfect dupe for Anastasia's Brow Wiz because I definitely think... Uh, the brow wiz from Anastasia is better because you're paying more money so I think the money is definitely worth it uh, but this one was about ten dollars so it's not that cheap you know so yeah now on to more like international stuff I got my first Saint Ives like yeah they just launched Saint Ives in Korea so now you can get him from Olive Young which is a biggest um, drugstore chain we have here so I got the apricot scrub um, so it's like oil free dermatologist tested and 100% natural exfoliant and it was cheap I think it was like $10 it's good it's good but the beads are super big so <laughs> I 
sometimes I use it for the body, sometimes I use it for the face, but be aware that the beads are super, super big. I usually do not use exfoliators with beads that are that big on my face, but I only get like a small little pea size of it and just gently, gently just scrub it on my face and I don't think it irritates my skin at all. It's not bad at all. So I kind of like it. So that was that. This one is from eBay or from their official website. Uh, it's Ardell's Brush On Lash Adhesive. I'm trying to find lash adhesive that don't contain formal hide. Is that how you say it? I don't know. I'll put it here. Uh, one of the toxic ingredients that many lash glues have. And uh, this one doesn't contain the formal hide. Um, so I got it. But it's kind of like like uh, it lacks the stickiness. Like the, str like the staying power is kind of weak compared to duo lash glue. Uh, but I'm more focusing on the ingredients. So if you guys know any like non-toxic lash glues that are really good, definitely definitely recommend me some in the comment section and then I finally got the cinema secrets brush cleaner it took me forever to get it I don't know why but I've always had it in the back of my mind I was always like I have to try this cinema secrets everybody's talking about it I need to hop on this bandwagon and I finally did I actually got it from Amazon and oh my gosh guys it's a life-changing brush cleaner it's so freaking miraculous like it's so easy and it's so quick and it just makes everything so clean like oh my gosh so what I do is I just like um, wet my towel like a brush towel with a cleanser and then just run like dirty brushes over it and after like five seconds like your brush is literally clean as heck it's so clean I was like oh <gasps> Oh my gosh, what am I seeing? Is it is it is it for real? Like it's so amazing. If you've never tried Cinema Secrets, definitely, definitely, definitely try. So if you have like a ton of brushes but you don't have time to wash them or you just haven't found the perfect cleanser, oh my gosh, girl, you need to get it right now. Like get on it right now. I got mine in 120 mils, but I wish I would have gotten bigger sizes uh, because it's so good. It's so amazing. Lastly, I got two face products from Origins and remember when I told you guys that I needed a squeaky clean cleanser for my face so I got this one from Innisfree. Uh, it's like sea salt perfect cleanser. This one is a exfoliator. This is not a everyday cleanser or I don't know I, I cannot use this on a day-to-day -day basis because it's got beads and like it's a definitely um, an exfoliator so that was a fail but this one is a good one but I wasn't looking for an exfoliator I was looking for a daily cleanser so I opted for my good old checks and balances from origins it's just I've tried I've used it for so many years and recently I've just you know cheated so I tried some other brands but I finally came back to origins the checks and balances it just makes my skin so clean like so like squeaky and just nice I really really loved it so um, I went back to the basics and then I got a mask from origins it's called clear improvement active charcoal mask to clear pores since I was kind of disappointed by the recent Innisfree's mousse mask I was I was just looking for a good like pore cleansing mask and um, I chose this because I mean it's kind of expensive I paid 38 thousand Korean won so that's about 36 dollars US dollars but um, I'm hoping I'm getting my money worth because you're expensive. Um, it's only got 100 mil. So compared to St. Ives, it's like a freaking sample size. It's like a baby size. But um, the sales associate was very persuasive she was like it's like a really good product and I was like okay I'm, I'm gonna get it so um yeah it's like charcoal mask I don't think I've ever used it have you guys used this 
Also what the associate said was don't apply it all over your face, only wear it uh, where you have the most oils and the most pores which would be like my cheeks, my nose, on the center of my forehead and then the and leave the rest of the area clean or if you have like other masks then apply other masks like hopefully hydrating masks on other areas. So I think I'm only going to use this pretty much like the center of my face area so yeah if I like it I'll definitely let you guys know. So that was my quick little recent beauty haul. Let me know down in the comment section what you guys purchased recently and what you guys liked the most. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you like it and also don't forget to subscribe as well and also follow me on my Instagram and Periscope which are all Makeup by Dami. You guys have a nice beautiful day and I'll see you very soon in my next video. Bye!